we may have to take off the um, rotor itself and see what's going on underneath. So that's the plan. What is going on today, guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today we have a special returning guest. The old Honda Ridgeline is making her return today. And uh, we got a lot of work to do, which is why we need this workhorse up and running. And uh, my old man says this thing won't start. I think the battery's probably dead, so we will see if we can jump it. Uh, as you can see, this thing has kind of been stuffed in the corner here, so... I can't slide my truck in here. What I might have to do is just hook up a tow strap and pull this baby right out. So let's see if this thing will, uh, will even start for us. All right, well, she's locked. Oh yeah. All right, there's our jumper cables. Let's see if she's got any juice whatsoever. Nothing. Oh, get out. Just hit my head. The old ridge line. Oh yeah, a little bit of corrosion near the terminal there. No big deal. I think we're gonna have to go with the funner option and <laughs> see if we can pull this thing out a little ways and uh, then slip in beside it. Let's pull out the tow straps, baby, and uh, fire up the ram and see if she's still got some power after towing cross country. I think she's got lots of power. Can't put her in neutral because obviously there's just no power in there to uh, even be able to let the transmission shift into neutral. I mean, we're on gravel, so hopefully these wheels will just kind of skid along. All right, as you guys can see, Got her somewhat hooked up. Um, just gonna see if this truck will even move. I think it will, but we're just gonna give her a little tug at first and see if she'll move, and then we'll figure out how exactly we wanna move this so that I can slip my truck in between there. I'm gonna actually put her in, uh, I'm gonna put my truck in four low, see if she moves at all, and then we'll go from there. Okay, so we're up in here. Let's put this girl in neutral. Or low. All right, let's give her a little tug here. Oh, my brakes are nice and squeaky. It's always fun. Okay, so we are, okay, we got some tension on here. Mm. Doesn't seem like she wants to go too far. Hmm. Might be out of luck here. I thought the ram would do it. All right. Let's give her some. Ah, almost. Now. No, she ain't gonna go and I don't feel like blowing up an axle today. Another problem is, is that I was just thinking this actually, this is an all wheel drive vehicle. So basically all four wheels are gonna be locked. It's just not gonna be the front or the rear axle that are gonna be locked. So that's why she's probably pulling so hard. We were digging ourselves a little hole. So this thing, although, ow, look at that. We did move it a little bit. But yeah, like I said, all four wheels are gonna be kind of locked. Truck did move maybe like a foot. So I bet you this thing could have pulled it if I really put some throttle into her. But this truck isn't on the road and uh, it's not worth snapping an axle on that truck. Just trying to get this out. All right, um, so it turned out the neighbor's gate was closed but it wasn't necessarily locked so I just opened that up and uh, should be close enough now. Oh 
Woohoo! Why'd the horn go off there? Okay, interesting. I wonder why the horn went off. That is interesting. I wonder if it's because the key was in the ignition. I'll see if the horn goes off again. Okay, this just got a little bit more complex. After doing a quick Google search, seems like this is kind of a common issue. Uh, people have had also when they're jumping their Honda Ridgelines. Uh, I think it has something to do with the security system. So what we're gonna do, quick and easy, I figure we'll just pull the fuse or the horn fuse. I believe it's also the backup lights as well, but whatever. Anyone is interested where the horn fuse is, it is this bad girl right here, 20 amper. There's our fuse. Round two coming up. Pardon the noise, ladies. Let's uh, fucking see what happens here. Ha! Yeah. I can tell this truck is not happy. The alarm should be going off, but I pulled the horn fuse, so just the lights are gonna go off. Yes, sir. There she is. Oh, I don't think this thing's been moved for some time. Interesting. Okay. Interesting. Not really sure why we're stuck but i'll get you guys outside to see what's going on here i wonder if our brakes are a little bit seized because these things don't look so hot don't look so hot at all all right here we go <laughs> What on earth is going on here? That park brake isn't released. Um, I don't know. I can't see if the, if the wheels are turning. didn't sound like the wheel spun like you guys will have the ultimate real view because i couldn't see anything in the car my suspicion is that the brakes are seized on this thing all right so in reverse is anything happening like they're moving they're trying to move but they're not spinning at all no they're not spinning at all My park brake is released 100%. They're spinning, they're spinning. Which ones? The front ones, not the back ones. The back one's not moving at all. Yeah, the, the, the front one's fine, the back one's not moving. It's this one. It seems like these wheels are for sure just seized. I don't know, I mean, gonna have to break her free somehow. <laughs> somehow. Uh, it doesn't seem like she's gonna be working on her own power. I might put this thing in uh, VTM4 lock and see if I can get some movement. So I pulled the wheel off and what I think is the issue, well there could be one of two issues. Um, obviously the pads look like they're rusted over to the rotor, that could be issue number one. 
And then issue number two is that I looked it up and these are, um, well, the, the park brake is a drum style brake. The shoes rub on the inside of the rotor here and those could also be seized to the rotor. So it could be two factors. So we'll see if we can solve both of those hopefully. First, we gotta try and take these pads off. And then what I'll do is I'll just try and hammer this, uh, this rotor at first and see if that'll break it free. The truck is in neutral right now, so this should spin. Um, and if that can't do it, we may have to take off the um, rotor itself and see what's going on underneath. So that's the plan. It looks like I got her moving just a little bit. Um, some play in here. So hopefully I'll put the wheel back on and the engine can do the rest of the work and uh, break the rest free. So anyways, I'll put that wheel back on and uh, we'll see if this thing's gonna move or not. We're gonna put this thing in reverse and see if she'll back out. Looks like we got a little more movement there. Oh yeah. There she is, boys. She is not a happy girl, I can tell you that though. Jeez. There you go, she's out. She's ready to move. And more importantly, she's ready to work. So, stay tuned for some cool Ridgeline content. I got lots of stuff planned. She's a strong girl, you guys know that, so. I have all the faith in the world in her. All she needed was just a little love to get started, get moving again, <laughs> and uh, yeah. Anyways guys, that is going to be it for me today. If you like the video, don't forget to throw me a thumbs up. Um, and if you like stuff like this, maybe even think about sticking around because we'd love to have you on board. Anyways, have a good night guys. We will see you on the next freaking video.